Hi, in this video I'll walk you through accessing the VTI network provided by SNU. Okay, so here let's begin. So as you can see, I'm in my um, class in Brightspace. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on VDI Access, which stands for the Virtual Desktop Infrastructure. And as you can see at the top here, the page, there's an instructions um, printout here. They get walks you through step-by-step -step logging, but we're going to go ahead. The one thing you need to notice, you need to click on this link here, which will bring you to the login page, okay? So we're going to go ahead and click on that link. And as you notice here, it asks you, asks you for your name, so we'll keep that as snhu.edu. We'll click Next. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my username and my password. Basically, your username is your email, less the at snhu.edu. So again, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Now, this sign-in process does take a couple minutes because, again, you're going to another network. Okay, so keep that in mind. So up here, I click on Apps. I click on the Student Lab under Desktops here. And now we're going to start the process of logging in. And like I said, this is going to take a couple minutes. We're going to pause the video as it logs in. Okay, and we were back recording the video. We logged in successfully. Again, like I said, it does take a couple minutes. But now when you log in successfully, you will see your user information here. And on the left-hand side of our desktop, you'll see all the shortcuts to various applications provided by VDI, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Power BI desktop just to show you what will happen next. Again, this does take a minute or so to open up. There we go. We'll give this a minute to open up here. Oh. Okay, great. So now we're in Power BI, and just want to show you one quick thing here. When you begin your exercise, I'm going to go back to Brightspace for a minute here. And as you can see, in our Module 4, what we're doing is here, down here, our exercise 4 to Power BI assignment, creating a couple simple charts using Power BI. Now, if you already have Power BI loaded on your desktop or your laptop, you can go ahead and use that, connect to your, the Superstore workbook, so to speak, okay? But again, we're taking advantage of the applications provided by SNU. So again, I'm going to go back to my virtual um, desktop here. When I click Get Data, because I got to get the Superstore data, if you will, on their network, I'm going to click on Text CSV, again, as the instructions explain. Now, be careful because your actual data file is probably located in this directory here. It says Business Analytics Course Content. Again, I'm going to click here. <clears throat> it has a bunch of folders here and we're looking for MBA 504 double click here and here is your superstore workbook here to connect to and obviously you can walk through other prompts to connect to the superstore um, you know workbook or you click load it will load the data for you and whatnot so okay that concludes this video thank you very much for watching